in this video we are going to discuss about this baker venkat raman rearrangement right so see here in many of the book if you see this uh, re re rearrangement it will be written only baker rearrangement right so this is the indian scientist this name will be most of the times it will be neglected so we should not do like that right so it is baker venkat raman rearrangement reaction right so this venkat raman Uh, he has studied in karnatak university kud karnatak university darwad which where i have done my msc right so let, let us discuss his rearrangement reaction so here what uh, we these compounds are see here so this is nothing but my phenolic ester kind of reaction right so phenolic ester is there and here i have ketone group whenever this compound is there in presence of base it will undergo some rearrangement and i will get compound like this <clears throat> so i'll get phenol and here i'll get like this co co ch3 so i'll get 1 2 3 1 3 di keto compounds right so 1 3 di keto di ketone compounds and here it it is phenol group is there right so this is how rearrangement happens how this rearrangement happens that let us see there so mechanism let us see that so it is very simple so this thing we can write co ch3 and here i have ketone group if you see instead of writing all three hydrogen let me write here one hydrogen and here one hydrogen so this hydrogen will be more acidic compared to this uh, ester uh, hydrogen it is less acidic if i compare to that ketone acidic right i am comparing only between these two you will ask why sir because see this ester is there right so this oxygen will be having lone pair so it will donate like this and it will rearrange like this because of which uh, this carbon is there right it will be less delta plus means le less electron deficient compared to this carbon which is present on ketone it is more delta plus more delta plus it is more electron deficient right so whenever i use base so base will abstract this proton only not this proton it won't abstract this proton right so what happens let me write it here neatly right so i i had this compound right so here o co ch3 and here i had co ch3 so when the the base abstracted that proton this negative charge comes on this carbon right so carbon we never show right it is understood further it will resonate like this because here we have chromatic ring group is there we resonate so more most of the times we won't write this structure but we we write like this because uh, equilibrium will be more towards this compound co ch3 and here it will be o minus and double bond because this oxygen is there right so this oxygen is more electronegative 3.5 its electronegativity so it it has ability to hold the electron uh, density so most of the times if you see equilibrium will be more towards this compared to this right so most of the times we, we, it will be like this only further what happens here just this product only just i'll write like this so o is there here can i write here co ch3 like this i hope it won't bother you and here i have o minus and double bond here so this negative charge comes here so this pi pi bond through this carbon attacks here right so this will go and again comes back since it is a this carbon oxygen bond breaks right so what ha what all the things happened see here i got this thing so here carbon oxygen bond is broken o negative i got here i had c double bond o right because negative charge ca came down right so through this carbon it attacked this carbon and again i got ch3 right i hope you got it otherwise let me write it again same compound i will write it again so that you understand you understand what i am telling and just see what i am writing right so this o minus double bond i can write like this also otherwise if if you want to see how you got this understand clearly you can uh, right like this also no doubt double bond o this carbon you make it negative but most of the time reaction happens like this only as i have written above like this only but for understanding let us do this so here carbon is having negative charge that will attack this carbon as it is electron deficient so this pi bond goes on oxygen again it comes back so this this is a good living group 
oxygen so the bond will break like this right so what we will get we will get like this compound the same above compound but let me write it again so what happens here bond broken but oxygen gets negative charge here i had c double bond o ch2 group was there so this is ch2 group right so we never write this this is uh, we know it has attacked to, to this carbonyl carbon right which is attached to ch3 right other things are same as it is so we both are same only right further what happens in uh, since it is a base we add in always water medium so this water means h o h will be there so this negative charge take this proton and it will become phenol so we'll get this compound if i want to write o h c o c o c s 3 like this compound so this is one three di ketone phenolic compound right so this is how re uh, reaction happened right i hope you understood so this is nothing but baker venkat raman rearrangement right so let us see one more example so that it will be clear again let me explain the mechanism here right so i have this ketone ch3 right so i have this ester phenolic ester we call it as right and here it will be having again one more ester group like this so here i can write like this ch2 and h instead of writing ch3 so when i have base base will take this proton as it is acidic right so what happens as soon as it takes this negative charge will be there on this so that will be stabilized stabilized like this but uh, i have explained uh, that thing it is true only stabilization structure we should write but i have explained uh, like this also if 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 you write like this it is not wrong but we never write like that but uh, i have explained you the correct method then you know the correct method but uh, for easy writing you can use this method right but right so it is clear so what happens this will attack this electrophilic carbon so pi bond goes up to oxygen again comes back this bond will be broken carbon oxygen bond so negative charge comes on carbon so what the thing what we will get so here just to observe everything i will write like this only so here o minus comes right so here c double bond o is there so this ch2 is there right that attack to this carbonyl carbon which is attached to benzene ring where it is having again one ester group like this right so this negative charge takes proton from solvent that is water it will take proton so uh, i'll write directly here by rubbing all these things so let me write so let me remove this uh, this carbon also here it got oh like this right so here if you observe that this uh, ketone group here also it is ketone group here also ketone group is there and here i have ester right so can i write it like this see the, just simply what i have done i will write everything as it is just i will rearrange it co ch i'll write co one hydrogen i'll write here right because that hydrogen is acidic just i will rotate and i will get co o ch co o me like this right so ester so again i have base base is there in excess so it takes this proton so what i will get this this negative charge it comes so that negative charge will be stabilized here like this here also it is stabilized and here also it is stabilized that we know but now what happens this negative charge is there right so it will attack this carbonyl carbon like this so this pi bond shifts from oxygen again comes back and ome will leave the system as ome minus so again this uh, baker went venkat raman rearrangement is happening right so what i'll get i'll get this thing right so here oh will be there here co ch2 co other things i'll write like this so here ester was there right so ester and this bond formation happened and we got five membered ring if you see it is five membered ring 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so this we'll get five membered ring right so this is how reaction happened right right this ch2 so this is understood that if a point is there it is understood that here ch group is there right so this is how uh, ring cyclization so this is the application part of this uh, baker venkat raman rearrangement and also we have studied the mechanism right so this is how reaction happens so it is in presence of base right so i hope you understood it right it is the easy mechanism right in next class let us see few more rearrangement